Hi, kindergartners. Happy Monday. Today for math, we are going to play Where Do You See It? You will need your student notebook and turn to page 37 and 38. I am going to do the first one with you so you can follow along with me as I go, and the rest of them you will do on your own. So, I'm going to zoom in and we're going to do number one together. The directions are to write equations for the 10 frames and circle how you see the equation. So we are going to find equations from the dots to get a total of five. Okay, so I already see an equation. I see three plus two equals five. Then it says to circle how you see the equation. Well, I saw the equation as three plus two which equals five, okay? Now there are multiple other equations and I want you to write as many equations as you can find from the tens frame card. Now it says to circle how you got your equation, but you'll only need to do that for one since there, so you don't have to keep erasing and since there's only one fat, uh, tens frame showing five on our paper. I'm going to erase to show you where I see the other equations. So looking at these equations, or this tens frame card, I also see the equation of four oops, plus one equals five. Let me erase that again. I was getting ahead of myself. So four plus one equals five. And I see that right here. Four plus one equals five. Okay. Now I want you to think about any other equations you can make by looking at this tense frame card that equal five or that include equations of five. So as you can tell, I instantly went straight to addition. And I also see equations that could work for subtraction. So I see five dots minus three dots could equal two. And here's where I saw that one. So I saw five dots all together minus three dots, which equals two dots. Okay. And there's probably one more that I can see that I will share. I see five minus four dots, which equals one. And that one I saw as five minus four and it equaled one. Okay. So that's all you are doing for today is you are taking the amount that is in your tens frame and writing as many equations as you can see from the tens frame. And then it wants you to circle one of your equations of how you see it. Okay, so you'll do that for six. And on the back side, you have three, nine, 
and 10. Once you are done writing as many equations as you can for each tens frame card, I want you to take a picture of it on the front and the back and turn it into Seesaw so I know you've completed your work.